What's up, welcome to this video. You are here because you want to learn how to edit videos to create eye-catching content for maybe social media or any other project you're working on right now. My name is Steven Womack and I've been editing videos for over 10 years now. So you've come to the right place to learn exactly this. As all social media platforms are moving away from photo towards video content, learning the skill of video editing will not only make you extremely valuable to the job market, but also offer you endless opportunities in your own creative space. Now, whether you're a beginner or an advanced editor, CapCut currently is the best video editing software out there. This is why I have teamed up with CapCut to create this basic video editing series step-by-step step, teaching you all the fundamentals you need to learn to create stunning videos and finally start telling engaging stories in the most creative way possible. So let's dive right in and learn the craft of video editing. Now in this series, you will learn how to edit videos on your computer, on your laptop with the CapCut desktop version. We're not gonna talk about the mobile, um, editing videos on your mobile phone in the CapCut mobile app. We're gonna talk about the desktop version just to make that clear. It's also free, you can download it. And once you've done this, we want to open it up. And the first session we're gonna do now is we want to talk about how to create arrangements, how to take those video clips that you filmed outside and bring them into order to create a storyline for your video. So let's do this right now. So the first thing we want to do is open up CapCut. So we go to our apps here and open CapCut. This window opens and now you can just hit new project right here to create a new project. And now the software, the program is open. Now we want to import the videos that we took, those clips that we want to now um, bring into the storyline that we want to bring into order. So we click import on the upper left side here to import those files. And now you can choose the videos from your computer um, that you want to edit or that you want to bring to this project. So we import it and now you can see they're imported on the upper left side. Now in my case, just as the example for this tutorial, I shot a little um, promotion clip for a face cleansing foam for men. So this has a clear structure. First clip should be um, the person washing the face with the face cleansing foam. Second clip should be washing it off with water. And the third clip should be drying off the face. So we have this clear order um, and the clips are up here. Now you can double click them to preview them on the right side if you're not sure which clip is which. You can always preview them by double clicking them. And once you know with which clip you want to start, you just drag it down to this main project timeline down here. This is where all the magic, all the editing happens is down here. And this is where we're gonna edit now. So of course we don't want this full clip to show as we filmed it, we just want a little part of it. So we want to do a cut to the video. We want to start cutting or trimming the video um, into bits and pieces. Scroll to where you want the video to start. I really like this scene right here when it comes up close, right there. So I want it to start right here. And you can see this white line, I dragged it here. And now you can just click split here or just hit Command B and now you can see it has created a split. This clip has now been cut into two pieces, the first and the second one. Now we wanted it to start here so we can just delete the first one by just selecting it and then hitting the back button, boom. And now you can see it starts from here and then it just plays back, which is what we want. Now in the end, we also wanna trim something off of the back here. Now we could either do this the same way again by scrolling where we want it to stop and then hit split or command B again, or we can just select the end here and then just click it and hold it and drag it all the way to where we want to trim it. Maybe around here is perfect. And uh, now we have this little sequence starting right there. I wanted to make it even shorter to be honest. So I'm gonna drag this down even further. So we have just trimmed this clip. Now to bring in the next clip, what we just need to do is take the next clip we're gonna preview it again. We want it to be the one where he washes off his face, which is this one. And then again, we're just gonna drag it down to the timeline here, scroll all the way to where he washes off his face. It's this motion right here. And then again, Command B to hit the split, select the first part, delete it. And we want it to stop around here. So again, we hit Command B, 
and delete the back part. And now you can see this is our first arrangement here jumping from this clip to this face washing clip. And now the last one is him drying off his face, which is this clip. I'm going to drag it down. And again, I just want it to be this part right here. So I'm going to trim it from the beginning and trim it from the back. So we have the little drying off here and that's it. Actually, there's a nice ending to it so I can drag it down again and I'm going to take the end here where he throws the towel into the camera. I'm going to hit Command B again, delete the first part, and now we have this little arrangement, washing the face, washing off the foam, and drying the face, throwing the towel into the camera. This is perfect. This is our first arrangement. This could already be the video. Um, what you can do now, and this is the beauty of CapCut, instead of having them simply jump from one clip to the other, which can be quite boring, CapCut has these transition presets up here and you can see they're not all of them are free. Some of them, as you see the pro tag up here, um, are only available in the paid, in the pro version, but there are plenty of cool ones. I actually really like the simple ones um, available for free here as this pull in transition and now hovering over it, you can already have a little preview and you can just take this and then pull it down and drag it over where the clips meet and then you can see what happens to the clip. If we watch the preview, it pulls in to the next clip, which gives this a much more exciting look and feel. So we're going to do the same thing for the other um, transitions here. You could also choose different transition presets, but I really like to keep it smooth. I like this pull in one, so I'm going to choose that for every transition. So again, here, pull into the towel, boom, and we're going to choose this again for the third one here where he kind of pulls in and then throws the towel into the camera. If I play back this clip now, we can see it. First clip, boom, second clip, washing off the face, boom, third clip, drying off the face and throwing the towel. And there you have it. I hope you like this creation of this little video arrangement that we did right here. You learned how to cut videos, to trim videos, to get them in order, and even how to add some cool transitions that we have even in the free version. So go ahead now and download CapCut for your PC and start editing your videos. I'll see you in lesson two, where we're gonna talk about color and how to color grade in CapCut. I'm really excited about this. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as well to not miss out on any knowledge on video editing. See you around, peace.